Hey everyone, it's Debbie at Pineapple Path. This is my office area for my fashion and accessories. And today we're gonna do a little bit of shipping and we'll take you through that process. I print my labels out, I cut them out, and then I put them in three different batches. We'll start with the clothing. And as you can see, what I do is I write which bin it's in. Okay, let's take a look at my bins here. And this is the first one that I have. And if I pan around here, you can see the second one. So this I label from left to right, A, B, C, D, all the way down. And then this is A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. So this first one that I have here is 3036KK. And the 3036 is my inventory number. Okay, so... In this particular bin, KK is, and, and you learn to memorize which one's which, but K is right here, the double K. And this particular one is, is addressed 3036. And it's right here. You can see the, the inventory number I put right on. So basically what I have to do now is just put it in a, um, I'll put it right over here, put it in an envelope and um, um, we'll get that shipped out. Okay, the next one I have is an E, 3395. So let's go to E in this one. 3395. Okay, there we go. Okay, the next one that I have is a blazer. It's an N. 1429 N is here on the bottom. And it is black. Right here it is. 1429. Okay, next we're going to go to the back where I store all of my bags and uh, shoes. And I do pre box those. Let me back up just a little bit so that you can see uh, the shelves here. And I do label all of these with my inventory number. What I'm going to start doing, uh, because I'm getting multiple shelves here, is putting the um, uh, shelf number in my inventory book. So this first thing is a Lily Bloom bag. And uh, basically, I'm just searching for that inventory number, and it usually only takes me uh, less than a minute to find these. Okay, in no time at all, I found the item number that I, inventory number that I was looking for. You can see it there. So let's go ahead and get this pulled out. Okay, the next one that I have is a needlepoint bag. It's 3413. Down here on the bottom again, you can see, or maybe you can't, the label there. 3413. What I also do on these is I write on the top of the box just in case the inventory number would fall off. Let's go ahead and get that pulled out. Okay, the next one I have is uh, the sack backpack and uh, that sold for $40. So let's go ahead and get that pulled. Okay, and the sack backpack happened to be right in front of me, 3112. So let's go ahead and get that pulled. Okay, and the next one that I have, here we go, is a set of three apple tumblers. Um, I didn't take the time to look these up, but these happen to be in here. They are hard, what we consider hard goods. So it'll just be a matter of seeing which shelf they're on here. And right here they are. So we'll go ahead and get those pulled and packaged. Okay, the last of the three stacks that I had are items that I need to pull from different places. And this is a scale of vintage wool blend hat. And it actually was a, a new listing that I had just put on. And I still had it on this cart that I use all the time. And what I do is when I'm prepping my items, I will put them on this cart and like shoes and bags. And then I will roll the cart over to my photography area, which I'll put a picture out for you. 
And um, after the pictures are done, I'll leave them on the cart until I can get them packaged and put in the back or their um, designated place. So um, that's where this hat happened to be. So I pulled it and we'll get that packaged. Okay, the next item I have is in bin BB, and that's where I keep all my smaller bags that I don't want to prepackage. This is a sack bag, so let's get that packaged. Everything's been pulled now to be placed in either a priority envelope or in the case of the priority boxes, just have the labels uh, taped right on and our shipping is done. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Until we see you next time, have a great day, everyone. Debbie.